What up everyone? This is Copy801 and today I'm going to be doing a very special haul video. Now, why is it special? Well, that's because this is the haul video with all the goodies that I got from the Three Men in a Basement Connecticut Comic Crawl. And this is the t-shirt we all got. Very very nice colored shirt, definitely stands out, but the shirt's all well and good. You know, we got some goodies, we got a shirt, even got some stickers, but what did I get? Well, I got this, and I know you can't see it very well, but there we go, an entire short box. Somehow, I bought an entire short box over at the Three Men in a Basement comic crawl. And this isn't, this isn't like half filled. Oh no. Let's open it up. Take a look. This thing is stacked. Filled with books. Filled with goodies. So, I will be letting everyone know what I got. And I will be sorting it into two piles. One pile is going to be for sale, and one pile is going to be for the PC. If you want to see what I got, which is a lot of stuff, some of you might be surprised if this is the books that I got on the haul, stay tuned. But for now, cue the intro. Now, I am letting you know, full disclosure, I don't even remember all the stuff that I got because it was that many. But, start with the first book, and this is Blood Syndicate, number one. Still in the poly bag. So this one is definitely for sale. I figured I would pick this up just because, you know, it's my, it's, um milestone and a lot of these books will probably spike because uh, milestone's going to be coming back so this goes in the for sale pile next up we've got here we go superman adventures number 19 now i have never noon noon there we go i've never known about a superman adventures comic series and i saw a post on instagram or on youtube i don't remember which but i've found out about it through that and i was like oh my god i loved this show growing up and they used the same animation style for the show so i figured hey i'll pick up the series so any issue that i that you see come across this is all for my personal collection I'm putting a run together, slowly but surely. These books on eBay are very hard to find. Number 5 and number 12. Whatever the one that has Supergirl in the cover. Obviously, that <laughs> that's it I'm after. But number 5 has Livewire. And it's her first appearance in a comic book. Which, it goes for a little bit of a pretty penny, unfortunately. So, hopefully I'll find something good. So we got Superman Adventures 19. I'm just going to take out a couple stacks. Okay. Next, we've got Batman 457. I believe. First Jason Todd, maybe. I, I forgot what the key was at the place. But I was told and I remembered it later. But here we have the direct... And a newsstand copy. So these are also going to be up for sale. Very nice condition too. I mean, not a thing wrong with them. Spines look great. No real blunting on the sides. So I'd say definitely, uh, definitely a 9-0 or better. Alright, next up we have 
Secret Files and Origins of the JSA. I picked this up just because I don't remember whether I have this book or not. And I'm a big JSA collector, so figured, hey, why not? I'll pick it up. Personal collection. Uh, oh, here we go. We've got Batman 497, When Bane Breaks Batman's Back. And, best part is, I didn't find one copy. I found two copies. Let's move that over a bit. Yep, there we go. Two copies, brand new. I mean, there is nothing wrong with these books. And guess what? These are going to be for sale. So, full disclosure, anyone watching this video, if there's a book around that you like or that you're interested in, just shoot me on Instagram. Send me a DM. I'll be more than happy to work, it, work out a price for you. So, now we've got Supergirl 14. This is from Volume 2. And I'm trying to put together a Volume 2. I have everything from, I believe, 1 to 12 and a couple of others, but I picked up I picked up a good amount here in the hall. We've got 15, 18, 22, and uh, let's see if there's another one in this stack. No. So that's it, but still, four issues, and no, I did not pay $2.99 for these. I paid a lot less than that, but they're all in beautiful condition. Absolutely beautiful condition for being, you know, 36, 37 years old. Pretty freaking cool. So these are for me. And here we have All Star Comics, number 64. Now, I'm putting together an all-star comics run from the Bronze Age. I got the big one, which was 58. But I still need a lot more. So, again, I did not pay $5.99. I paid a lot less. But, personal collection, it's littered with ticks. Oh, you guys could see that. But, who cares? It's a reader copy. Next up, we have DC Sampler. Now, I like these cool little things because, you know, well, this was free. I mean, it, but it's got a sampling of, you know, what's going on with the DC Universe. And we've got a very nice splash page of uh, All-Star Squadron with Infinity Inc. Main reason why I picked this up. And, uh, you know, it's got a couple of books from this time period, you know. Firestorm over here. We got another Supergirl over here. So, this is right up my alley. Next up, we have Superman Adventures number seven. Another one. And another one going into my personal collection. Next, we've got Superman Man of Steel 87. Supergirl's on the cover, so I picked it up. Oh, there you go. It's in okay shape, you know. I'm not asking for a 9-8 or anything. I just want a reader copy. Next, Adventures of Superman number 531. Again, she's on the cover, so I'm picking it up. And now we have... Uh, now this I'm going to be putting up for sale. I already have this book. This is uh, Infinity Inc. number 21. This is the first appearance of the new Hour Man and the new Dr. Midnight. Which are the same people that are in the Stargirl TV show. So the first, the show actually came to pretty good reviews during the first, you know, season that it came out. So I'm hoping that once the JSA really starts showing up, like we have the JSA now, but we have like, you know, a couple of members here and there. But... Once that shows up, I'm thinking this book's going to spike up a little bit. A lot more than three bucks. But, hey, if you want it, let me know. It's also a really nice cover by, guess who? Todd McFarlane. In case you didn't know, Todd McFarlane in the 80s, right after he did Coyote, 
he did Infinity Inc. And uh, he, I think he did a few All-Star Squadron, but he did a lot of Infinity Inc. covers. So that one's for sale. Next up, we've got issue number three from Superman Adventures. That's the first appearance of Brainiac in there from the show. So got a good deal on that. And we've got number 13 from that run. Cool cover. We've got number 34, one of the later issues. Pretty cool Dr. Fate cover. Then we have 33, another cool cover from Superman Adventures. 22. And these are just in random order because, honestly, when I got out of the store, I just threw them in the box. <laughs> so, nothing is in order yet. And then we have 36. And I think that might do it for all the Superman adventures I picked up. I know I picked up a good amount, but I know it wasn't like, you know, something super crazy. Like, I didn't pick up half the run. I picked up maybe, maybe if we're lucky, 10 issues. And don't mind, oh... Actually, wait. 25. Cool Batgirl cover. I'll say that much. So it looks like I picked up a few more than I thought. And here's 35. Again, completely filler issues, but you know what? These are rare. Very rare. And here we have Superman Batman Annual number 2. Nothing special about it. Except for the fact that I didn't have it. This is going in the personal collection. Because I have the entire series, but I'm missing the annuals. So if I find them, I pick them up. I'm not actively looking for it. But, oh. Here's a good one. I'm going to cover the price on this. Thundercats number one. 100% going up for sale. And this is a beautiful copy. Minus the little fold there i hope it's not color breaking but this thing definitely needs a clean and a press but if you look at the spine it's in good shape this is in very nice shape first thundercats book though there's a lot of nostalgia bait going on with people who grew up in the 80s and thundercats there's also a little bit of rumors about you know thundercats show but here you go nice Pretty clean copy of Thundercats number one. And that is definitely going up for sale. Next up, we have a very famous storyline. Daredevil, the man without fear. Number one. Real nice. Really, really nice copy. I mean, there is one massive tick right there. But other than that, I mean, for just being loose, this is in great shape. And it's for sale, so if you want it. Now we come up on more stuff for sale. Spawn number four. Spawn number ten. I'm going to do that just so that way you can see all of them. Oh, that does it for the spawn for now. But I do have more spawn for you in case anybody's interested and i also found this in perfect shape spider-man unlimited number one first screech part of maximum carnage so this is a pretty popular book right now it could use a clean and a press but as you can see take a look at that spine look at that beautiful Next up, we have Girl Frenzy. Now, I found this on a claim sale. I don't think I dropped that video yet, but I found it on a claim sale, a couple issues, and uh, I was curious about it. So I did a little bit of digging, and I realized, you know, it's a pretty cool story. So I found some of these at a store. What store? I don't remember which, but we have JLA Tomorrow Woman. We have Young Justice The Secret, which I think this is a key. I know Stevie B said something about this, but I don't remember. Uh, the Ravens. 
Birds of Prey, the Ravens. And then we have Starman, the Mist. And uh, that does it with that. But still, four really cool issues. Cheap. Very cheap. Next up, we have a perfect copy. There is literally nothing wrong with this. Terminator number one. And you already know that Terminator is uh, on track to rise in value. Because movies haven't done well, but that's when you gotta buy them. Buy when the market's low, so that way you can sell it when it's higher. It's a beautiful copy. Nothing wrong with it. Absolutely nothing. For sale. Now we have Injustice 2, number 6, The Origin of Injustice Supergirl, Personal Collection 1, also cover by, oh, here we go, another perfect copy of Amazing Spider-Man number 375, a very nice, very cheap issue. Like, I mean, super cheap. But it's in perfect shape. It looks like it's got a little crumb right there, but that'll come out. But the book itself, look at that. Look how beautiful that is. And it could be yours. Next up, Justice League of America, number 124. I picked up a bunch of Justice League of America books because they either have a uh, Justice Society of America appearance or they have something to do with them. Here, this one co-stars the Justice Society. Right over there. See it? So that's why I bought that one. Next, we've got Justice League of America 193 with a special Meet the All-Star Squadron, which was a great series. Absolutely wonderful. And now we have Justice League of America DC 100-page Spectacular. It looks like number 17. And these are reprints, but it doesn't matter. Because the Justice Society here meets the Injustice Society. And this is an expensive Golden Age book right here. So you know what? If I want to spend a couple bucks and get the reprint, I will. The spine is, you know, not in the greatest shape. Come on. Focus. There we go. But, hey, a reader copy is a reader copy is a reader copy. All right, next up. Ah, we have Green Arrow number one. Again, I picked this up just because. I figured, why not? I'll pick it up. Hopefully somebody will be interested in it. And this one is, again, in perfect condition. You know, I, I, I don't see anything wrong with it. Nice sharp corners. So, that'll go in the for sale pile. And this one is definitely a for sale book. <laughs> it's not my style at all, but Beavis and Butthead number one. I figured, you know, why not? There are people that like Beavis and Butthead. So I figured somebody might want this, so I rescued this from a bin. Here we have Crisis on Infinite Earths, number 12. Last issue. I want to get issue, I think, 7. The iconic cover with Superman holding Supergirl when she died. I want to grab that. So, I might use this one as leverage. You know, equity. But, we'll see. But for now, I'm going to keep it. However, if you are interested, let me know. It's a very beautiful copy. It's got a couple ticks here and there, but you know, it's perfectly readable, you know. So I'll put this in the sale pile for now. 
Another book for sale, we have Catwoman, number one from the 90s. Pretty cool cover, honestly. And again, nothing wrong with the book, you know. Nice, good, cheap book. If you want it, let me know. And here is one that I was very surprised to find because I would have thought that somebody would have bought the all these up. <laughs> Sensational She-Hulk number one. This one is, of course, for sale. And there is really not much wrong with it. As you can see, the corners are quite sharp. The spine, a couple... You know, we only have a couple ticks. We got a little bit here and there. A little blunting on this corner, but still, beautiful condition. If you want it, let me know. Next up, we have New Mutants number 100. Just a filler issue, but I figured somebody might want it. So, again. <sighs> Cell pile. And here's... Here's a good one that goes, that's for sale too. How about Amazing Spider-Man number 365 with the lenticular cover in once again. Beautiful shape. It's got a little thing there, but that'll probably press out if you just, you know. But it's a thick book. Thick book. With that one little thing wrong with it, I mean, you could get a good grade on that. So, for sale. Next up, another one that's for sale. And this one is an iconic cover for any of you Joker fans. Superman number 9 from the 80s. Perfect condition and needs a clean and a press, but really cool Joker cover. Joker eyes, Superman. For sale. And we have Tales of the Green Lantern Corps number one with the Green Lantern show coming out and with the Green Lantern movie in development. I figured somebody might want, you know, a cool Green Lantern book in their collection. And that's where this comes in. So, for sale. Another book for sale. In very nice condition. It's got some ticks, but it's still in good shape. West Coast Avengers, number one, cool splash page. This is a direct edition. And uh, why is that special? Well, this is special because this book came out in, let's take a look at that date, 1985. And by that time, you know, I think newsstand and direct might have been 50-50. Either that or if it was like 60% newsstand, 40% direct. But still, really cool direct issue of West Coast Adventures number one for sale. And we have Green Lantern number one from the 90s, from actually June of 1990. Again, it might not be a key, but it is a number one. And I figured, hey. You know what? Somebody might want it. This was right after the, uh, you know, volume two of Green Lantern with Hal Jordan. This is also the run, not the issue, but the run that Hal Jordan becomes Parallax. So this 90s run might take off soon. So that goes in the cell pile. And this one I'm keeping. We have Secret Origins of the Golden Age Superman. And this is a really, really cool cover homage to All-Star Comics number 8. With everyone sitting around the, the crystal ball. And I figured this was a cool issue. Figured it was a really cool issue, you know. Big fan of the Golden Age characters and we got the JSA all around. So, you know, this is a, that's a keeper. Next up, we have another Nightfall issue, Batman number 492. This is book number one in the Nightfall storyline. For sale as well. And next up, we have another book that I'm keeping. 
This is America Honda Presents DC Comics Supergirl. So, in the 80s, Supergirl had two promotional comics by Honda talking about road safety. I have one of them. I was missing this one, and I couldn't believe I found it because I never see this anywhere. But it's in great shape. It's very thin for a book. Like, you could even tell. Like, look how thin that book is. But who cares? Nice cover. And it's got a good message. So, get some cheese. All right. Here we go. We have uh, the Heroic Age Marvel Previews for free. <laughs> Number one. And, uh, yeah. Cool story. I found these in the basement of the first comic shop. And to go with it, we have the new Avengers number one from the Heroic Age. There's a lot of spec going on about the Heroic Age, so I figured I would pick these up and see if anyone wants them. These are all right after another. 79 and 80. So, if you want either of these books, let me know. I gotta find a thicker bag and board, because these are, these are like super freaking thick. Look at that. Alright, next up we have Justice Society of America 35. I have this book already. However, what I don't have is the connected cover portion. How sick does that look? Such a cool set. Such a cool set. So this one is for me. This is for me. I gotta get bags and boards. Some of these I actually found loose and they're in great condition for being loose too. Spawn, number five. Again, for sale. Spawn number six. Number 11. Number 12. Number 13. And number 14. So, if I could find them, just as a little recap... I picked up some spawns because, you know what? Who doesn't like spawn? Well, I can't say that. But spawn is quite popular right now. So, I never see these early issues in my LCS because either people buy them or nobody just wants to sell them. Which I can't blame them because, you know, spawn is... Uh, an iconic series, completely iconic. So, just to uh, do one of these, to show the complete set that I picked up, we have, and these are all in very good condition too, we have 4, 5, 6, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 for spawn. So, these are all for sale. So if you want this nice little lot, if you're interested, let me know. I might be going on an auction soon. So whatever I don't sell, I'll just put lots together and, you know, put it up there. So let's take these down. Next up, we've got Futures and Supergirl. Again, it's a Supergirl book. And I don't know if I have this. I know I don't have the lenticular version, but I might have the non-lenticular version, which is not nearly as cool. Next, we have this. Superman speeding bullets. I think this is the story where Superman becomes Batman. The Elseworlds, I should say. So, figured it would be a good read. That's for my collection. Next up, we have this, which I know some of you are going to be interested in. 
Justice Society of America, number 23. Beautiful Black Adam cover. Beautiful Black Adam cover. So, this one's going up for sale too. And don't worry, I'll be putting it in a bag and board right after the video's over. Now, we have Super Soldier. And it looks like this one got severely bent up on the way home. Which is a real shame because it was in perfect shape. So I'll probably just throw this in as a free as a freebie to someone's lot if they buy something. That's a shame too. Alright. Supergirl 24 from Rebirth. I am collecting the Rebirth covers that I don't have. Well, the variant covers, which are, believe it or not, a lot. I collected the series, and then I did a couple of other things and collected a few other things here and there. But I didn't collect the Rebirth covers because, honestly, not a lot of them were out there. I didn't really find them too often, so I figured, why not? I'll start collecting these. I'm not going to go out and search for them, but if I find them, and here we have uh, Wonder Woman, number one. This is also for sale. It's from the 2006 run, but I figured it's a cool cover for a Wonder Woman fan. Uh, I know Magic Lasso has this one, so I won't even bother asking, but hey, eat your heart out, Lasso. And next up we have, this was a very, so this was a really hard book to find. Really, really hard book to find. This is Supergirl Annual number two from Rebirth. The significance of this is that this is when Supergirl first becomes the Supergirl who laughs. And when this happened, no one was paying attention to the Supergirl book at all. No one. All of a sudden, she gets infected, and people just bought this issue up. And it was an annual, too. So, this one's going up for sale, because, well, I already have it. And I figured, let's give someone else a chance. Next up, we have Superman Batman Annual Number 1. Again, same story. If I find one. I will definitely pick it up. Because I don't have the annuals. Okay, now we have... Batwoman Supergirl World's Finest. This is one of the few modern age Supergirls that I don't have. And I've been really interested in reading this series, but of course, because I haven't had it, I refuse to read it digitally. So, now I've got the physical one. And it's a hundred page giant for five bucks. I did not pay five dollars, but still, even that's a good deal. All right. If anyone is a Shazam fan, you will love this. The Millennium Edition of Wiz Comics. Number one. So this one I picked up to sell because... You know, I like Shazam, but I know a lot of people like that more than me. So, if you're interested in this, it's in beautiful shape. It's a great copy. You know, you could read it. You could slab it. It's definitely uh, it's definitely worthy of a slab because of the condition. Take a look. Nothing. And it's a thicker book, too. A little bit of a thicker card stock, because back in the day, issues were thicker. So, that one's going up for sale. Next up, we have Spider-Man Adventures number one. This boy needs a clean, but it's a cool cover. And it could be yours, based on the animated series. All right, now we have... Wow, I still have Superman Adventures, huh? Superman Adventures number 31. Looks like I picked up a little bit more than I thought. That's coming to the PC. And now we have 
Web of Spider-Man number 95. Now, I picked this up because everything Venom is hot right now. Everything. And this not only has Venom, but it's got Venom, Spider-Man, and Ghost Rider. And it's a cool... It, I mean, am I a fan of Spider-Man? Eh. But, I will admit, this is a cool cover. This is a really cool cover. And it's in great shape. Oh, again. For sale. Going in that pile. Next up, we've got Supergirl number 35. This is the deceased variant cover. Never saw this before. But, of course, because it's the variant cover, I had to have it. Personal collection. Now, we have Team Superman number one. I never heard of this before, but it had Supergirl on the cover, so I said, hey, why not? I'll, uh, I'll sort it out. And you could tell the era because it even says the Lost Li Diary of Linda Danvers. That's what they called her during this time frame. So, interested in giving that a read one of these days soon. And next, I was looking for this. It was on a claim sale, but I missed out on it. Luckily, I found it here. Showcase number 95, issue 2 of 12 with Supergirl. Again, really cool, badass cover. So, PC. And now, we have this. Worlds Collide, number one. This is between DC and Milestone. And guess what? It is still in the poly bag. And it's for sale. So if you want it, let me know. Good shape. All right, next up we have Firestorm the Nuclear Man. Number one. Again, I figured, why not? I'll grab it. Somebody will want it. There's Firestorm fans out there. And, uh, yeah. I guess that's about that. Now we've got hardware number one still in the poly bag. Again, same logic to all the other milestones. But, again, for sale. And now we have uh, this. So, I'm going to cover the price on this. But you'll know what it is. Swamp Thing number 7. Iconic Swamp Thing cover. By uh, Bernie Wrightson, looks like. Maybe. It says it on the side. But this is a... You know, it's not in the greatest of shape. I mean, you could tell already but the spine is completely intact everything is all good and this is a beautiful swamp thing cover that i am selling so claim it if you want and next we have dc comics presents number 28 which supergirl story so of course you know I'm going to grab that for myself. Okay, moving on. We have a DC Comics Presents 75. Really busy cover, but it looks cool. So, and it's got Supergirl, so why the hell not? And it's really funny because you could tell the different eras. So this one was... Uh, no, I did not pay $6, by the way. This one was from the 70s, and then we get the new logo here from the 80s. Little tidbit. Now this one is, uh, <laughs> covers a little beat to hell. But, I saw this, and I forgot where. I saw this book somewhere, and I wanted it, but it was way too pricey i'm talking like way too expensive like they wanted something like the comic shop wanted something crazy for this book 
And I was like, nope. But I found it here for like five bucks. DC special number three for 25 cents. The Earl all girl issue. If I could get this sticker off, which would be really nice. I would be able to show you more of the cover because the cover itself is gorgeous. All right, there we go. Boom. Supergirl front and center with Wonder Woman, Black Canary. Looks like we have Star Sapphire and uh, a couple others. I'm not familiar with the other two. Maybe they're older characters, but look at that. Look at the... Look at the construction. This one's got to be from the 60s. I just picked it up. I didn't even bother opening it. But we can open it together right now. Oh, yeah. This thing hasn't been out of this bag in a long time. Look at how yellow that is. Well, you can't see it. but Oh, there you go. Now you can. Yeah, that bag is yellow. Yellow, yellow, yellow. But, you know, not terrible, you know? Still completely readable. It's not missing anything. Yeah, look at that. Look at the font. Look at this. Oh, if you could smell this book right now. Whew. If you could smell it. Jesus. Yeah, wow, look at that. 1969. Absolutely phenomenal. Can't wait to read this. Cool story. Really cool. Really cool. I feel bad putting it back inside the bag, but I need to get like, I need to get Silver Age bags just for cases like this, where, I mean, this is from 1969, so this is a Silver Age book, but I mean for thicker books. Because if you get a thick modern, you need to put it in a Silver Age bag. So. Enough with that one. Next we have uh, Super Team Family. Number one. And, uh, you know, I figured why not? It's going to have Supergirl in it because it's featuring the teams. And it's a number one. It's not in great shape at all. But it's, a, it, it's for me to read. You know, it's got a chunk missing out of the back cover. Which I'm cool with, again, because I am I just plan on reading it. Alright, next up, we have Superman Family number 188. No, this was not $9. Although, the book's in great shape. Very nice shape. So, I'm missing this. Not anymore. Now we have Superman Family number 182. Again, another book that I did not have from my Superman family run, which I need to put into my League of Comic Geeks. Now we have Supergirl number 18. Again, I think I picked this up double by accident. This one I know I didn't have. Supergirl number 16 with Ambush Bug. This will be a fun story. <laughs> I could tell right now. That's like DC's version of Deadpool. And here we go. Spider Geddon Handbook. With the breakout star of the hit game Marvel Spider Man. And guess who it's got on the cover? It's got Miles Morales. So I figured, you know what? Anything Miles is going to be hot. So why not pick it up? And I got Justice League number one from the 80s by Griff, Giffen and DiMatteis. I had the dollar version of this, but I did not have this one. Because everybody wants like 15 bucks for it. And I'm like, I'm not spending $15 on it. So I spent like $2 on it. So that's for me. Justice League of America. Number 195, and stars the Justice Society. So, of course, I'm going to pick it up. And we have Justice League of America, number 231, 
We got a Supergirl appearance and a Justice Society appearance. So we got a twofer going on. I was very, very excited to pick that one up. All right. I still got books, guys. Still got books. Great, incredibly enough. All right, another Justice League of America, number 232, starring the Justice Society. Trying to pick up all these. I seem to be getting a lot of the newer ones. Justice League of America, number 244. The older issues are harder to find, but that's okay. The more I can get, the better it'll be. Here we go. Here's a nice early one. Justice League of America, number 108. It's a cool cover. Real cool cover. But it looks like it stars... It looks like it stars both the Justice League and the Justice Society. Because, you know, you got Dr. Fate and Sandman. Then you have Superman and Batman. But still, this is in great shape. Absolutely beautiful shape. Can't wait to read this book. Now we have one that's even older. And I, I love when they do the roll call on the side like this. Absolutely love it. Justice League of America, number 83. Very cool cover. Very spooky cover, too. This one's PC. And now... We have Image Comics Summer Special Free Comic Book Day. We got Witchblade, Savage Dragon, Invincible, and Spawn. I figure, you know, this might hit, you know, maybe like couple bucks but i mean it, this guy's getting his own tv show so you never know if you want that let me know and this i was very excited to get this book very excited supergirl number two this rounds out my volume one supergirl run so i can cross that off from my list of 2021 goals thankfully and, in case you guys didn't know, I know there's not a lot of Supergirl fans, but I know there's a lot of Zatanna fans. Right over there. She's the backup story in pretty much all the Volume 1 Supergirl issues. So, if you want some early Zatanna appearances, go find yourself some Volume 1 Supergirl issues. She'll be there. And the stories are really good. Next, we've got Guide to the DC Universe, 2001 to 2002, Secret Files and Origins. This is a PC book because I love these compilation books, honestly. You never know what you're going to get inside. You never know what you're going to find. So, for like a buck, I'll take it. Next, we have All-Star Comics number 59. I think 58 is the first issue when All-Star Comics came back. This is the second one. No, it was not 10 bucks. I paid like, I don't know, $3 for it, which is great. Because since I'm trying to put this run together, phenomenal. And uh, big shout out to this guy right here. Sarge's Comics and Games in New London, Connecticut. I got the best deals out of there. Literally half this short box came from his store. Half the short box. It was ah, such good deals. Now this one over here is uh, All Star Comics, and this is seventy something. It's cut off. This might be a miscut. I don't know whether it's for the entire book or just the cover. Wouldn't that be interesting? I actually have a uh, either an Infinity Ink or a which one calls it an Infinity Ink or an All Star Squadron that's like that. The whole book is off centered, but it looks like they just cut the cover off a little because the inside of the book is fine. Yeah, they just trimmed the cover a little bit too much. Still cool though. <laughs> I didn't have it. And this will go towards my All-Star Comics run. 
Now we have All Star Comics number 72. Same thing. I'm guessing that one might be like 71 and this is like 72. I don't know. But still, cool cover, cool story. Now we have another copy of Justice Society of America number 23, Black Adam. This one's up for sale too. Perfect condition if you want it. Better get it now before Black Adam hype really comes up. And just in case, just in case you want the whole storyline, here you go. Get them all together. 23, 24, and 25. Beautiful Alex Ross covers. Beautiful. For sale. So if you want them, again, let me know. And I got another one of these. I hate when I do this, but whatever. I spend like a dollar or two. Another Supergirl 16. That's fine. Maybe I'll uh, sell it to an Ambush Bug fan. Got a lot of those. All right, here we go. A new one, issue 17. I might have a complete run of this second series afterwards. But, let's see what happens and how many more I get. Yeah. Number 19. Cool story. Very cool. And this is in beautiful shape. Beautiful shape. Can't wait to reorganize all this. Next, we have Supergirl number 30 from the New 52. If I am not mistaken, this is going to be the first full appearance of uh, the Red Daughter of Krypton, a.k.a. when Supergirl gets a Red Lantern ring. Again, because it's from New 52, it's in beautiful shape. It's got a couple ticks, but still a cool book to have. I mean, you never know when they're going to do a Red Lantern storyline. And if they do, they'll probably borrow from this. Because we already have an actress who's playing Supergirl. So, who knows? Maybe this might become, you know, I wouldn't say expensive. Maybe a $10, $15 book. Even right now, it's a, it's about a, it's an $8, $10 book. So, it could go up. But for now, it's for sale. So, if you want that, let me know. Now, we have this. So, I figured why not, because this is an early, early, early special, Superman 100 per page spectacular number 18, and the cool thing about this is that if you look up in the top right corner, you see that? T and P. 12 and a half P. 12 and a half pence. That means this bad boy came from Europe. This bad boy might have came from England. Which is pretty freaking cool. Doesn't <laughs> It doesn't value the book anymore. But, you know, it's still a cool story. So, there we go. And you know where there's Superman, there's Supergirl. So, why not? And we've got, here we go, some more covers. This is from the last stop. Supergirl number 34, the variant cover. Beautiful cover, beautiful cover collecting these. Next up, we've got number 40. Again, this one's a pretty well-known cover. Very nice. And then we've got this one, Supergirl Wings. This looks like an Elseworlds. It is actually. I've never heard of this before. And when I saw it, I was like, ooh, mine. That goes in my personal collection. Now we have this little variant. Supergirl number 16 with the trade dress. 
very, very nice art germ cover right there. I didn't have this, so I figured, hey, I'll take it. Awesome cover. Now, this is interesting. This one is interesting. I couldn't believe I found it. Because, as far as I know, this book's worth a lot more than, uh, you know, eh, than uh, I paid for it. Tales to Astonish, starring the Submariner, number one. And it's in beautiful shape. I'm talking beautiful shape. Look at that. There is nothing wrong with this book. This is like, this looks like a high-grade copy. It really does. It's got a little bit over there, but other than that, this one's for sale. So if you want it, you let me know. And now, our journey is finally coming to an end. Finally, our journey comes to an end. And uh, as a finale, we have Action Comics number... 360 80 page giant presents Supergirl a comic first a complete book length novel so I didn't have this book and this one at my LCS is going for about 65 to $70 because of how old it is and the condition. You know, this one is not in the greatest shape. It's got some severe spine wear right there. But it's completely readable. The cover's in nice shape. And, yeah, first book length. Why not? This is an early Action Comics. Action Comics number 360. Pretty pleased with, uh... Pretty pleased with this book. Let's see when this actually came out. There we go. 1968. And yes. I know. Featuring a full-length novel in seven parts. So, the cool thing is, is that I believe this actually reprints some of her earlier issues. If I'm not mistaken. So this was when... She was about to be, uh, she was about to be shown to the world. You know that cover. I know everybody knows that cover. With Superman and Supergirl just going over Metropolis. But still, 1968, not bad shape. The staples are still intact. They are not rusted one bit. And I don't even think this book has like a centerfold like a normal one would. Still in great shape. Still in absolutely great shape for the age. Which is fine by me. I'll take it. I was so happy to get this book. And I got it for... A lot cheaper than 60 bucks. I think I paid 10, if that. But I will leave this up because this was one of my favorite finds. And let everyone know thank you very much for viewing my video. I know this has been like an hour long haul video, but <laughs> you gotta remember there's a lot of stuff. So, 
this over here and this over here is uh, what I picked up. Let's move the camera a bit. So the one to the left is the sell pile. The one to the right is the keep pile. So I got a lot of stuff. I got a lot of stuff from this haul. Thank you again to Three Men in a Basement for doing such an awesome thing for the community and hosting this absolutely stupendous event. Like this was, I, I, I can't even, I can't even. It was such a good experience, such a great time. You know, we were able to meet so many great people from the community. It was awesome. Really looking forward to the next one. Really looking forward to the next one. But until then, on the last book, I will tell everyone, had to have a great day. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the haul video. I know that this was a very long video, and I do apologize for that. But as you can see, there was a lot of stuff to show. So, like the video as well. If you like what you see, consider coming back again. That is, after you subscribe. And watch any of my future videos on my channel. That way you get a notification when that does happen. So, as I say at the end of my videos, remember everyone, collect what you like and don't let anyone tell you differently. Bye now.